Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put your own headlights using LED, white LEDs into uh, a car or a truck. What I first do is I start with my LEDs that I get, and I usually buy them from two different companies. Either one, one's called All Electronics, the other one's called Jameco. And I use three millimeter LEDs because they're, they're pretty small. They fit into most uh, cars, most trucks, and uh, they're easy to work with. As you can see, I use this X-Acto third hand tool which holds my LED and uh, they really come in handy which is really very important when you're in, the, in, the, in model railroading to have the best tools, good tools, at least tools that you can, uh, that you're going to use quite often and one of the tools is, is this third hand. So first what I'm going to do is after I get my LED into the third hand, I always make sure that the bottom lead, which is the longer the longer lead, is on the bottom when I clamp my little my LED into the alligator clamp. That way, I always know every time how I'm going to wire this thing up. Then I cut them off, each one of those leads off, and it, now what I have left coming out of the back of the LED is the piece of wire that's probably around uh, three eighths, or around a quarter of an inch long, maybe even less than that. I use my soldering iron here and um, put a dab of solder on each one of those. Then, again, I put a little bit of solder on my wire. All right, now I'm going to trim both these little these wires off. I have a red wire and a black wire. And by the way, this wire is no big deal. Um, when they were putting in an alarm, a burglar alarm system in our business, whatever was laying around, I grabbed and I put it in a box. This is, uh, I think, a 22 gauge three conductor that I actually cut into about eight inch lengths, stripped it out, and threw the green wire away, kept the black and the red. Red being positive, black being negative. So I'm going to very easy, quickly uh, solder these, this on here. Red in the bottom, black on top. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a real small piece of uh, shrink tube. It's like a little piece of rubber tube that uh, I'm going to slip over the wire. both wires now I can take my LED out of the alligator clip and then I'm going to take a lighter and heat that you heat the tube and what it does is it actually literally shrinks that little piece of black tube around the solder joint that I just made. Now, because of the way that LEDs work, they work off of resistance, not necessarily voltage. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the red lead, strip it back, strip the both pieces back, and again, using that third hand, Now I'm going to do the same thing on this, only this time I'm going to heat the wire. And I'm going to put a 150 ohm resistor in line with that red wire. The 150 ohms is used on if I'm going to power my lights with uh, 12 volts. Okay, that was done and cut. Again, strip that back, tin the wire, 
This is called tinning. I'm getting it ready. So all I have to do now is heat the two pieces. And they're soldered together. And again, take a very short piece of shrink tube, slip it over the wire, and we're going to cover that little resistor up. Okay, there's one headlight. Now I'll make another headlight and then we'll get to, down to business on what we do with the truck. Okay, so I got my two LEDs finished. They're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting headlights into uh, one of my Verizon trucks. And first I took the cab off because I don't need the rest of the truck. And that way it gives me the access to uh, back underneath here. Uh, first I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the headlight lenses out. And all they are, it's, it's, it's plastic that's, that is put through the hole of the cab. And then they're just melted in there. So if you're going to use a car, they do the same thing on cars, trucks. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay. Now, pop that out. And there they are. Now, we're going to look at this. So this is where the hole, this is the hole that the headlight is actually going to come out through. Now, I use, again, I use a three millimeter LED and the three millimeter LED is almost the same size as all that plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop the grill off the front because I'm not going to need this part of the this silver part in here. So I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so I got the grill off. I got my two headlights out, the, the headlight lenses out. And since I said I didn't need that silver part, what I did was I took my exacto knife. And I just cut those pieces off. Now I could put that grill right back in there and glue everything back together again, but I'm not going to do that until the end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my drill, and I already have the drill bit in here, and this is a third, number 33 drill. A number 33 drill fits a three millimeter LED, and I'm going to carefully, very carefully, drill that hole out. The hole here is where the little plastic tab from the plastic headlight lens fits in there that we cut off all right we're also going to cut that that little tab off the rest of the little tab off too with, with the exacto knife now we're going to drill this out as when we're going there pretty much straight this way first all right then i'm going to take my drill and i'm going to straighten it up so that the LED will be straight once it gets glued in. Again, there, and straighten it out. 